grew up in Australia, middle class kind of home in a suburb in Sydney. I was adopted as a young infant. My earliest memory was around three. I was having a bath and my father would come into the bathroom and, uh, you know, he would get into the bath with me. Sexual abuse it just messes your whole sense of right and wrong and, 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 and guilt and shame. My overall sense of my childhood was really uh, one of being constantly on the watch. It becomes just surviving, just getting through the next day, not being able to say anything to anyone because you're afraid. That really leads to a downward spiral. For me, it led to um, wanting to end my life. You know, and so I tried. I tried that a few times. And then something was just like, you know what? My father ruined so much of my life. He's made me so unhappy. I'm not going to let him beat me. I've got nothing to lose in trying to live the biggest life I can. You know, being out with nature and being moved by something that just was alive. I'd never felt that before. I had the, oh, there's something more. There's another option for me. I realized that if I really wanted to give the most back, I could do that by helping girls who had been victims of sexual abuse. I first met Jay in the group. She was pregnant at the time. I would hear every single person's story, whether or not it was worse than mine or, you know, not that bad as mine, but I would still not want to talk because I never wanted anyone to look down at me or anyone to judge me. But when I was with the group of other girls that has similar things, it was more easier to relate to other people and to talk. When the bad things happen, especially when it's around abuse, if you can't share, find a way to, to, to tell people what's happening, then you can't break through that because you're keeping yourself in that prison of silence. And the thing that I could have done differently was the thing that was most terrifying and that was to tell my mother. When I told her, she was obviously horribly upset and, and disturbed, but it was a relief. It opened a door to a real relationship. Ready? do you know what this, what is, what shape is this? Hi. Oh. Even though my choices were taken away from me when I was a child, as an adult, now I can make choices for myself. We can dig deep and we can find that magic and we can find that, oh, this is what life is and say, I'm just going to live it. <laughs>